woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your brain. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. Shine. Stop my shine. Shine. Stop my shine. Okay. Dear YouTube, we're going to apologize to everyone we may have offended over the last couple of years. <laughs> we got your girl, Janae, a.k.a. DeJanine. What her, a.k.a. what is her, mom, her name is? My mom. We got Queen Naja. We got... Um, CJ So Cool. Carmen Royalty. Carmen, Corey, the Prince family, the Prince family, everybody, YouTube, y'all self, to, to the fans we of wanna, these people. We want to apologize. We want to apologize for our thoughts and our opinions. And our opinions and for y'all mindset that y'all can't fucking understand it. Everything we say is fucking true. And we stand on that shit. And we stand Never are we gonna get on here and make up lies about these people. I don't know why these people get in their feelings, but y'all do. You know what? I do. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The real TK squad back again with another Thoughts and Opinions video. It's your boy Travis checking in. And it is your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. And we back once again, y'all. Um, All right. Good. Now let's get into it. You didn't even know I was going to take it. Back. I got to end that. Put that in the front. I got to. I got, and the title going to be there too. Apologize, apology to everybody. I've been everybody name and everything. Okay, that's how we going to do it. But anyway, y'all. Okay, let's get into this video, y'all. Okay. The first person I seen do the video, I seen DDG do his apology video. I think it was to like, to, um, to, uh, to Chris Sales, to other people. And it was like right at New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe he was, you know, trying to clear his spirits for the new, the new year and apologize to everybody he's had beef with and drama with. Now, I didn't I didn't know if it was genuine or not, but that was the first one I saw. And I don't okay. know, know if he got it from somebody else or whatever, but that's the first one I saw. Okay. And I said, well, maybe, you know, maybe he's being genuine. You know what I'm saying? He's being, a, being the bigger person. Until I, until I seen Carmen and Corey do it. No, the first, the other person came behind him was Flight. Okay, I seen Flight do it. No, was it was it Pretty Boy Fredo that came? No, behind the first him? one I seen do it behind him was Fredo. Okay, Fredo. Then was did Flight? Do I can think maybe Flight. Then it was like I seen Carmen and Corey do it. Then I seen Nicky King do it. Then I seen. Every crazy Ari ass did, did a whole bunch of them. Ari did it, and then she broke up, up y'all, into like six videos. That's when I say, okay, this is some bullshit. Okay, then... Queen Jen, did one. Queen did one to the Taylor girls and to uh, Ari. Then Janae, Janae did one. I think she did it on Ari channel or some junk. I don't know. But it was like, after you start seeing a repeat, that's when you, that's when you say it. Oh, okay, this is some YouTube trendy shit. Yeah, it was, it was trendy. Yeah, like so. So this ain't genuine. It's not. So this ain't real. People talking about Corey said, you know, y'all gonna think it ain't real, you know. And so, so Nigga, he it's knew, not. He knew people was gonna think his wasn't genuine. But how can? Legit. But how can you not think? How can you not think it's uh, it like ingenuine when sixteen people did the same damn video. 16 niggas didn't think to apologize. And you got to think of something. If I've been beefing with you all year because it's a new year, I want to say I'm sorry now. No, nigga, I stand on that. And I don't mean to sound, I don't mean to sound messed up, but niggas be killing me with this new year, new me thing. No, nigga, if I said fuck you in 2019, it's fuck you in 2020. And I'm keeping it. Moving. And I'm standing on that. And, and I'm this year... This shit is really fuck you because I'm not going to mention your name. Right. I stand on that. And it's like, I ain't got to apologize to you or mention you ever again. I can keep moving it. You got to stand something. If I had that type of beef with you. Right. And you understand But these something. people don't have that type it of beef. It ain't beef. All the shit was with views anyway. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because y'all got to understand something. When a person is removed from your life, they're removed for a reason. It's like, you got, the the, the, the thing is that, that I heard was, 
Some people, some people are with you for a season. You know, so I'll, just somebody with you only for a season. I Meaning, them people like meant to be around you for long. They were there for a purpose, right? Then it's time to move around. You see what I'm saying? Facts. I just, I just don't like how. And like I said, with YouTube, it's starting to, it's almost starting to bug me now because YouTube feels fake doing it now. Because it almost it seems like it seems like it feel fake doing it because it feel like you you got to be pressed to do something fake to make people enjoy your videos or to make people enjoy your channel. It's almost like you got to think like when you want to be real, you get put in a box already, and then it's like you know what? What are we gonna do today? You almost be like, man, that do fake shit to get their attention. Then you got to bounce back and be like, you know what? That ain't us. You know what I'm saying? And it's just what it is. It's like, I don't know, but to Or really when you try to be like, like for instance, when we first started, y'all, we stayed true and real to ourselves when we first started. I did some real pranks on tracks, like real pranks. But I, we got to the point where I noticed that people was hitting me up telling me to go outrageously with these shit right. to do to him. Right. And it was like, like, Never like, am like, I gonna harm like they were asking, they were asking you to do stuff that would have really like sent me to the hospital or some right. weird shit, like but do do some shit that'll burn me or some weird shit, or clever shut my eyelids closed up for good. You know what I'm saying? Just so I, it amazed me to really see that, and y'all gotta understand something. Y'all look at these fake ass pranks, and then y'all want people to go out there and really try that shit. I told you, you two remind me of the show Jackass. These people are real professional stunt people doing this dumb shit, but y'all really go out there and try to do this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? None of it is real. That's why I was watching in the comment section. I was looking at stuff like, in the comment section, I was looking at people like, you know what? That touched my heart to see y'all, you know, squash your beef and nobody I'll get back. It's like, either one, these folks never really had beef, or two, these folks they mean what the fuck they saying on these on this camera. Or they faking it on camera. They some people really did mean what the fuck they said, but they know we get more views if we get back together. Right. Just like they, like um Dijanine. She's somebody said try to get the The whole J back the whole JQC, whatever. It was she crazy. she even said if if certain people work out then it's possible. She said certain people Except for one crew. I mean, except for one group. One one, one couple or group. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that's Chris and Trey. I don't think they're going to give it. You know what I'm saying? The other the other crew are still workable. You know what I'm saying? Carmen and Corey, Nick and King, they still cool. With but I don't understand how she feels. I don't think like they do under her. How she can make it happen under her management she or can't. under her authority. She can't because she did. Cause no, no. I'm going to be honest with you. Nick and King, Carmen and Corey, all of them probably still fuck with each other. But I don't think nobody fuck with Aerie. No, because somebody said that Aerie did a um did her apology video to Nick and King, but then threw Nick and King under the bus on their on her apology video to Queen. Mm. See, still throwing shade. I, just, I let me let me let me say let me tell you something. At the end of the day, none of that shit was necessary. Right. Y'all could have came on into the year 2020 and kept living y'all life. But y'all seen somebody do it, kept some views, and said, you know what? Another idea. Let's do it too. You know what I'm saying? And it just made it seem so ingenuous. It, it, most of it, kids accepted it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, what's starting to bother me on YouTube is, is that I'm seeing more. Now, I'm seeing more and more adults falling for the okie doke. It used to be more kids that we saw, but now I'm seeing more and more adults falling for the okie doke. And some of the kids are starting to wake up and be yeah. like, what the hell? Just like, now one, the one thing I can say is, i never seen the Prince family do this shit. What? The apology video. But who, who to say they ain't got one coming? I, it's over with now. Because they ain't apologize no damn about it. They ain't sorry for the bullshit they do. They know they do bullshit. They're not sorry for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they don't really, really 
fuck like cause like like you know cause cause Carmen Core after they did they us took him too you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. They didn't apologize back to Carmen Court because they meant what the fuck they did. You know what I'm saying? They, I went, we did it for money. Right. So they know that. So they don't apologize. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you what type of, type of person I am. I can respect that. Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't fake it. Right. If you, if you didn't, if you weren't sorry for doing your bullshit, you wasn't sorry for doing your bullshit. I respect that. I'm I'm shocked that um Damien Damien Cryer Damien Cryer didn't do one. Now that's who I thought would have did it. I thought he was gonna do one. To D Lowry. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised she ain't do one, hell. She could have did hers to him, to Zaddy Chunk, whatever whatever his damn name is. Uh Dalvin. I'm kinda negative. I'm just t- I'm, whatever his name is. But your name is Dalvin. <laughs> I didn't even know his real name. That's why I called him that. But she could have did it to them too. She could have did it. Well, I think that's his name. If it ain't, somebody will correct me. Yeah. yeah. I think that's his name. I think that's um, his name. Um, I forgot. We, we didn't apologize. You didn't apologize to Bill. Didn't v, did B Love do an apology video to all these people she claimed for, claimed for about no. not making this sauce no, the right way? She's in a new beef with somebody right now. I, somebody told us to do a video on it, and we, I didn't, you know how, you know, we don't really touch shit that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think we do, but if we already know about it, we won't get into it. So somebody told us Unless to do Unless it gets really big. Yeah, and we, and we have like, to go what? check it out. But it's her. Prissy P and somebody named L Lips or something like that. Okay. They in a beef right now. We'll check that out later. They, they in a beef right now. But they going back and forth. But we'll check it out. But anyway. So. You know how that go. But anyway, like I said, y'all. It it would have been cool. And I'm going to tell you something. And I, I, can't, I can't say that DDG's was not genuine because he was the first one I saw do it. But when you see all that shit come behind it, it make his look fake too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would have chucked all them niggas off. I would have been like, this is how I really felt. Y'all using my words plain. Or, or my idea, yeah. Or, as mockery. Or, who knows, he could have got this idea from another YouTube Another YouTuber we, we don't watch. Right. That's what I thought. That's why I say it make it seem, he'll seem like not genuine too. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's like, okay, let me, let me go do some research on this shit. It probably came from... As y'all say, the white side of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's like y'all be like the black YouTube and white YouTube. I don't know why they separate. I don't know why people do that. YouTube is just YouTube. YouTube to me. Right. But they call it the black YouTube and the white. Just YouTube. like they se- now, I kind of get it, but I don't get it. How they separate the the food side from this side? The mukbang community. And, yeah. Uh, and, and I kind of get community. it, but at the same time, I don't because it's still YouTube. It's all YouTube. Yeah. I mean, you have a, you have an option to like what you like. And you know what I'm saying, not like what you don't like. But you know, if you don't like certain things, just move on to what you do like. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Right. Like this other dude wanted us to do a, a videos on the war and uh the the fire in Australia and and, and the black black men getting killed by cops and he wants us to do videos on all that. Like this this ain't CNN, bro. We didn't sign up for CNN. Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm not educated enough to Learn this stuff and, and to even be up to date on own it, but that ain't my, my job. Wasn't to bring it to YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, mm. which I just want to touch bases to y'all and just, and just ask y'all like, do y'all really? Did y'all really believe any of this stuff was genuine? Like none of it was genuine. None of it they meant it. I don't think it was, but you know, some people gonna be like, Yeah, I believe it. Okay, watch this. And I'm gonna tell you the only reason you might see it is because we just said it. Watch this. In twenty twenty, let's see all these people who made these videos apologizing to each other, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see if they befriend each other again and start back working together. Mm-hmm. Let's see how many of them do that. They're not. They're not. That's what I'm saying. But if you got a really friend that you really honestly want to apologize to, that means everything. You could have did that shit off of social media, really. I could have texted you. You, you could have reached out because everybody, got all these numbers. people got each other numbers. It's facts. Or even if you don't got that got that number, you could have reached out to management. Or everybody, for some or, reason, has managed. Or you could have DM them in their IGs. You know what I'm saying? These days, people hit each other in Instagrams. You know what I'm saying? DM in their IGs. DM them on their Twitters. 
you could have gotten in touch with them. No, I say it. And that's why it looks fake. If I wanted to squash some beef with somebody that I had, I'm going to do it personally. Now on a YouTube video. Right. But anyway, y'all. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this one in the comment section below. Make sure you like and you share it as well. And um, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace, y'all.